hi welcome again uh, today i'm going to talk about the updated version of open land reform now you can interact with uh, static meshes and now we have a new brush system that you can have additive and uh, translucent materials for brushes and i'll explain that in a moment about how those things works right uh, yeah this ball is coming here yep i can interact with yeah this looks really nice Right now, I'm not gonna explain how to set up Open Land Deform uh, in this video. Uh, I have a separate video on that. Uh, check the uh, description below, or you can uh, check right top, uh, and you can see a link to that video. Uh, yeah, uh, let's start working on this static mesh support. Before we do that, I had some uh, questions on Twitter and Reddit about uh, this uh, setup it has a lot of geometry, and if you have lit and brush wire frame more as there are too many uh, geometry and basically for this kind of work uh, we don't need this amount of geometry and uh, that's totally true the since uh height field mesh is uh, gpu based solution so it's quite cheap but of course uh, we can reduce this geometry amount so you can open the brush wire frame from here and now you can see the geometry and i'm going to select the uh, virtual height field mesh this this volume on my world outliner and in the details panel and we have a section for lod you can search for lod and then you get some values like this and here's how to control the the amount of geometry that you see on the screen so you can uh, increase this lod distribution value and now we can see there are a lot of geometry all over the place and that's how you increase the amount of geometry in your scene then you don't need uh, this amount of geometry closer to the screen so then you can do is uh, actually increase lod zero screen size if you increase this value you can see now we don't have that many uh, details in the uh, the closer to the screen and that's 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 fine and i can increase this value quite high now you get something like this and this is this doesn't work well but if you put a value in between 1 to 10 and you can have a decent value so i'm gonna go with this value right now and then go to the lit mode and i'm gonna play my game right now you still get the same uh, results usually right and then uh, let me show you how to work with static meshes and show you some of the new brush system that we have okay i'm gonna delete these static meshes right now right i will also remove the uh, footprint support from the collector blueprint so, so this should be similar to the default setup there's nothing happens and then if we go to the open land deform manager and then you enable this follow player character and then you will see some deformation like this all right this is just fine and then uh, go to content open land blueprints deform and here now we have a actor called open land deform static mesh so here we are not going to deform the static mesh but uh, deform in the landscape so don't get confused by the name okay that's fine and then i'm going to drag that into my scene then if i play my game uh yeah you cannot do anything because so we need to enable physics simulation on this static mesh All right select this static mesh and go to the details panel and you can select the static mesh uh, component over here and then uh, you need to enable simulate physics and about this mass i think uh, let's add some value like 50 so we can uh, easily work with otherwise too heavy and you can control where the character i'm gonna save this then let's play right now we have this so now you can do is actually yeah you can all right something like this and uh, there's a problem here if you walk on this trail so the trail that already created by this so let me go to a place like this all right so if you walk on the existing trail you can see now it's kind of overriding on top of that it's not natural and that's uh, because of the behavior of the the brush that you are using for the uh, follow play, play character and i'm going to talk about that and how to fix it quite soon and let me show you some of the options of this static mesh and then first thing is if you select this static mesh actor and you have a couple of options and the first thing is a max depth size and I'll, i'm going to show you this what's the meaning of this and i'm here we have a something called draw debug line i'm going to select that i'm going to play my game and yeah so now you can see we have a hit trail something like that and the this depth is the max depth value if you put a smaller value like 50 it won't do any deformation because it doesn't hit the ground you can see here and it does hit the ground sometimes but so you need to have some higher value and that's why you put a value like 150 and then uh, it hits the ground as you can see over here 
right not in this case but uh, you can see it hits the ground sometimes but if, if in the it's in the air I, it won't like so you can select a value that's just for your static mesh based on this debug trail and the area size is the area that covers the uh, this deform so i think this cube is about like uh, one square foot and that's here we're using a two square foot uh, area uh, that's because like uh, this brush has some empty space that's why if i put value like 50 50 and let me play my game you can see there's a small trail over here but of course you can customize as you wish right the other thing is uh, we can disable this of course and here we have a brush material uh, we have additive brush material right now i'm going to talk about these additive ma brush materials in a moment and i'm going to show you how to customize this a little bit further so let me put back this uh, area size into 200 on my static mesh and i mentioned earlier that if you walk on existing trail you get something like this and that's because of the uh, default mode of the deform manager follow play character I'm, I'm gonna uncheck that now i'm gonna play this and now i don't have any because uh, we don't have any deformation on the foot but now i'm gonna add that support i'm gonna open my character blueprint right then i'm gonna add a couple of uh, components on into my mesh open land right i'm gonna add another one right then i'm gonna design them into an individual foot component over here and uh, foot sockets l another one for the right one i have talked more about these in my other video and check the description below for the uh setup in the open landy phone or here i'm just speeding things up then i cannot go to the left view and i can assign them yeah something like this just uh the bottom of the foot so it's not uh something you had to do i mean like you, you can try that right now i'm gonna play my game now you can see foot deformation like this all right and then if you do the like this you already have a trail and if the user walk on that existing trail nothing happens and yeah now we can see there are some flickering here and there and that's because we are updating the landscape quite often uh, all, you, all you can do is uh, you can open the deform manager and uh, here we have rvt validation time threshold you can simply increase this value yeah something like this then it will stop the flickering i also talked about this rvt invalidation threshold just check my other video and you can learn about these things so here we are using the existing uh, our actor but you can of course use your own actor and add a component and it's quite easy it's just like that i mentioned for my character blueprint you can open this uh, deform static mesh you can offer customize this and here we have a static mesh of course you can put any static mesh over here and then under this static mesh we have this deform component and we expose in these uh, variables into the main actor root actor and that's how we change the settings but of course you can continue to like uh, customize this uh, on your custom blueprint and the only require the only required thing is you need to assign the open land deform component to your static mesh or any uh, component that inside your blueprint and that's how you can add uh, this deformation support to any actor in unreal engine now I will talk about something about additive and translucent materials for these brushes and let me show you the difference. All right. And now we have a trail like this. And then if I walk my trail and there's nothing happens because that's expected. Yeah. You don't have anything to deform in this trail and that's why you don't see anything. But let's say I'm using here, I'm using the additive material, but we have something called uh, here. We have the brush hole additive, but then I select the standard one like this and I'm going to assign this to each and every component over here and you can see something interesting right and about the normal footprints that's just fine okay but if i uh, create a trail with my static mesh if i work on that you can see this sand is growing on top of this existing trail and and that's not natural and the reason is try to override the existing uh, underlying uh, render target for each and every footprint but here about the additive uh, material is it won't override but if it's if it will continue to add add data uh, up until to one uh in this range zero to one range so that's why you, you see the natural behavior I, I believe these standard materials are best for footprints sometimes then if you want to work with uh, some static measures and interaction definitely go with the additive materials and that's uh it, it looks natural in that case 
So here we have a couple of uh, brushes comes with open land. You can uh, look at this uh, place by going to content open land core materials deform brushes instances and it's quite long uh, path but you can easily go there by selecting any deform component and select the brush material and hit this search icon you will definitely go to this place and here we have the uh, set of material instances for example here we have the brush hole and the additive one and here this is just fine this is a customized version here we have the texture brush and text uh, additive brush and if you go one level up and you can see the all the master materials for these brushes and you can uh, configure those as you need right now i'm gonna try to show you how to customize this brush for your needs and uh, for that one i'm gonna select this uh, cube and i'm gonna change that into a sphere now this static mesh is quite large i'm gonna change this size a little bit down something like this and i'm gonna get some force right now you can see a trail like this okay but right now what you can see this trail looks quite uniform but we need to have a little bit customization for this trail and here's how to do that so let's open the brush and this here we have the attitude brush okay that's fine i'm gonna duplicate this one right my my spear brush okay then i'm gonna drag that into something outside of my open land directory so then if i update open land uh, I don't really update this existing uh, file so that's 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 cool now i'm gonna select this brush and now i'm gonna select the open land deform static mesh and i'm gonna use this arrow icon to use that as my brush okay and then i'm gonna open this brush like this so then by default you will see some uh, brush like this if you enable the real time mode over here you can see there are some changes you can see subtle changes and if you play the level you can see there are some standard yeah like this but we need to have some changes so what i can do is there is a warp amplitude i'm gonna increase this a little bit maybe i'll stick with the default then i'm gonna increase the scale like this so now we have some changes in my brush like this and each and every time it, it has a different shape so then let's try to play our game right now you can see there are some changes in the trail path it's not that uniform uh, depending on the time and there are different uh, sizes into my trail and that's look natural so you can increase this like a little bit further if you want like this quite dramatic right like this so it's up to you you can change that and you can of course add some uh, noise into this so sometimes it doesn't play nice in this case but of course you can try now uh, our we don't have much space over here what i can do is uh what i can do is i can increase the size by reducing this all right like this and maybe reduce the influence yeah change change these sliders all right and i'm gonna play my play my this thing all right and yeah now we get different changes and of course like this so just play with your brush and try to see what's working for you and that's about these brushes and of course you can uh, open this master material and uh, so it's a basic brush and you can simply customize how this works and maybe add something uh, something that works for you all right uh, see you soon with uh, something interesting as usual bye